Hey people, it's Scott and Faye again with Blues of Vago. Um, good morning. Uh, I'll start this one off like that because we just woke up. And before we uh, start getting set up for the day, I figure we might as well show you guys the layout of the house. Like, show you how everything is set up and all of that. Um, how the bed converts back over to being a sofa. Or at least as close to a sofa as our lazy butts will bother doing. It's not that much of a convertible bed setup. You know, because, like, at first I had designed, like, a whole articulating bed platform so that, like, we could lift up the back and have a real backrest to the uh, bed platform. But, eh, meh. Really didn't feel like going through all that work. You know? You gotta remember this house was built out of necessity. Not necessarily want. So. We've been living in it the whole time. We've been making alterations. I also don't have a workshop. Or anything. So. Everything we do to it is just kind of whatever we feel like and whatever we can actually accomplish so like there's a lot of little projects that I kind of like just put off and like scrapped grew to the side said nah you know so what we have is the bed platform the bed platform is sitting, let me see, and of course that little tape measure is not around, I would actually measure to see how, how off the ground it is, it's, it's high enough that the microwave and all slides underneath, but what I did was for the bed platform, that we're on now uh, which we've been on for I don't know a while now uh, when we redid it uh, it's kind of a free floating bed platform it doesn't attach to the walls it's actually about an inch and a half to two inches from the side walls and from the the front of the bed of the truck. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that. For one, it helps isolate the bed platform from the vibration of the generator two it allows airflow from underneath to because we keep our heater underneath the bed platform for sleeping at night which keeps the cold air you know, regulate it. Uh, cold air falls. We have the heater down there. So it deals with the coldest air first. And that really seems to like work out the best in this little space. Uh, although it does heat up the bed pretty, pretty much 
sometimes to the point where it's like too much, you know? But it allows for like a little bit of the heat to come up, you know, and escape in spots around the bed. Uh, now what we have under the bed platform is basically three frames front, middle, and back. I put them right on top of the, uh, that foam puzzle piece flooring that we have, the cushions down there. And what I did was I drilled out oversized holes so that the screws that go down into the floor aren't actually screwed into the wood of those three frames. They actually have a, a little bit of extra play so that the frames themselves can actually move and, and go around a little bit. So everything has a certain amount of give to it when it comes to the bed platform. Um, then you have on top of the platform, we put down uh, first a moving blanket. And then on top of the moving blanket, we have a big thick white quilted blanket which like it's for a massive like oversized king size bed so it's folded over a couple of times <coughs> which gives us a nice thick padding um and you'll see that right here underneath of my pillows let me pull all of these out. Here's that big quilted layer. And I mean, it's doubled over and whatnot. And underneath of that, I've got a piece of styrofoam, not styrofoam, uh, foam rubber. The same stuff that's in the cushions, basically. Um... So it's it's got a little little cushiness to it. It's only about half as thick as our seat cushions. So that's where the first pillow comes into play. So that goes down. Let me get that out of there. And that pretty much gets you there. And then Two more pillows on top of that. That gives me my pillows. You know. But like. That. That second pillow. Is. Like. Once you put any weight on it. It's the same height as the. As the cushion. Itself. So. It takes. Three pillows all together to get up to a regular good pillow height. That's part of the, that's why we have so many pillows, cause I just didn't have enough foam rubber to like actually make a cushion depth back there. So moving on to the to the feet of the bed. This is the fun part. So, this is what we got going on. Here's those two big cushions that have, yeah, they, they're kind of set up puzzle piece style. Hers is going in one direction, mine goes in the other direction. Because that's 
the way that it worked out. You know. On, I'll go with her side first. What's underneath? Is that step stool and my new bucket, which is the right height. Oh, you don't have to take it apart. I'll turn the bucket. I know. Well, my favorite part of that bucket is that it's the same height. It's awesome. I love that. I know, it's a little silly, but that just made, that, that bucket is just, I love it, it's the right height, but yeah, it's that simple, that's all we have to do is make sure we move stuff off the floor, set that little puppy up like a hat, and Boom. Done. That simple. Well, we want to break down the bed. I'm going to throw your cushion on my side, baby. Here, back over here. All we do is move a couple things. It goes right up against the wall. right back into its place my side now since my two stools are just a little bit shorter than her stool and the bucket I use those to these two just to bring mine back up to the the height of the bed itself her side doesn't need it but mine does Then I just use those down there for me to sit on. Those come off. And we're set back up. Like, it's really fast and simple. And it's just a matter of, like, figuring out a place to, like, tuck shoes and stuff like that for the day. Throw that cushion down there. And I've got my seat down here. Or I can sit up there. But the bed comes apart that easy. Like and it sets up. You might want to move the light behind you because it's kind of blinding. Is that better? Yeah. Don't want to blind blind the peeps. Yeah. Hey, peeps, how you doing? But yeah, I mean... <laughs> it's that simple. Like, I've had people ask why I don't just do, like, a pull-out, like, wooden piece or anything. Well, why bother? I mean, this setup is so simple and so easy. Like... We can use these stools, like, if we want to sit outside, we can just take them outside. They pop open, you throw a cushion on top of them. Like, 
it's so versatile that like everything has many uses so like when we are when we set up like our kitchen like my two black stools they're what we throw the uh, toaster oven on it's how we burn the biscuits you know <laughs> Like, these stools are, like, just handy, you know? Because they're easy to move. They're easy to set up. They're, you know, they're just fine. And they don't really move around or anything because, like, our jackets, our shoes, and everything, when we set up the stools, we just throw the shoes down alongside of them. So, they end up pretty much just wedged in place. You know, you just jam your shoes down in there, jam a jacket down in there. Anything that you want off of the bed, you find a little little cubby hole to stick it down into. And it's done. You know? Like, the paper towels. This is really simple. Like, we had a paper towel rack before, but it always got in the way. So, this is just my wallet chain. And anytime we're in here, I don't need to be wearing my wallet. So, we just pick up the paper towel roll, throw it on there. <coughs> and it's a simple. <coughs> If you want to want something, you just grab it and yank it right off. It's it's an easy peasy. So I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like building things, but if I don't gotta build something. And there's a much easier, a little easier way to do it. I'm probably going to do it that way. Like, it's just, you know, me being me. But, yeah, this is pretty much it. That's the setup. You know, people have asked many times. We tried to explain it, and they look at us like, I don't, I don't get it. Now you've seen it. Where are we at time was? 18 minutes. Anyway. Uh, where's the soda? It got buried up there with you, I think. Did it? I think yeah. it did. Oh, yeah. So, last night I grabbed a couple of things out of the front of the truck. Because we're carrying around with us uh, a set of lights that Scrumpy McGrumpy gave us. That I've been wanting to put on. But. You know. I mean there's always stuff that we're having to deal with. And like tweak and fix and stuff like that. And with having to. Like do the lights in the back. Like. If I'm going to have to wire things up. Because DMV is telling us we have to. Then. I figure I might as well put on the lights in the front of the truck that I really want to. You know. Might as well. So. I'm going to be adding on two sets of lights to the front. Basically. Uh, 
you'll end up seeing them when we end up doing it. Uh, one set, I already know where I'm putting them. And I gotta drill some holes up there to mount those. The ones that Scrumpy gave me, I'm not quite sure where I'm putting them yet. I know roughly where I want to put them. But at least both of those sets came with wiring harnesses. And their own light switches. So. Still trying to figure out where in the cab I want to put those though. Because no matter what I'm going to have to pull one of the dashboard panels. To actually do that. Which I'm not looking forward to. I'll admit. I'll admit that, because, you know, dashboards aren't fun. Like, there's, I mean, there's worse projects, but, I mean, when you're a boondocker, I mean, you're out here just in random parking lots. That's it's not usually a project you want to get into. Like, I'm very hesitant about, like, starting a project. Because, like, you really want to be finished before it gets dark. It's not like being at the house. Like... Back when we were at the old house, like, if you didn't get finished, it didn't matter because you were in your own driveway, you know? You could just get back to it the next day. We don't have that option here, you know? If, if you ain't done by friggin' sundown... It don't matter. You still got to get finished because you can't leave stuff outside. It will walk away. You know? Like, you can't leave a project half together. For one, I like... That's one guaranteed way that you're going to get harassed. Like... If, like, most people don't want you doing work in their parking lots. So you get used to it real quick that you're only going to, like, start a project if you know you can, like, start it, get her done, and get it all cleaned back up and make it look like nothing ever happened. So, you see a lot of hesitancy with me when it comes to, like, getting into projects. But that's why. Because we've been kicked out of multiple parking lots. Because we took too long trying to get something done. Or we, like, hesitated or, like, took a break because we felt like it. And then, like, we'd get a complaint that you can't be doing work on your vehicle out here, whatever. And once they initiate a, a talking to, that's usually followed up with, uh, you guys need to move on. So... You just kind of, you do work when you're like dead set and ready to be able to just bang it out. Today I'm going to wire those taillights. At least wired my harnesses to the lights themselves and get 
all the lines fed down through the truck to where we're going to end up tying them into the wiring harness. But we'll see whether or not that gets like finished off today. I really doubt it. Really doubt it. Because, again, over, like over here, I got to rip out all of this foam. I got to take out this sideboard. I got to take out all of this. Like, I got to <coughs> basically deconstruct <coughs> the corner of the house to get to the, the tail light. In order to wire from here to the tail light. Same thing on the other side of the house. Like, I gotta sit here and like chisel all this crap out. All that spray foam. Gotta pull out the boards. Just to be able to get to the screws that hold in that outer tail light. So, like that's gonna take a good good hour to do that one same thing on my side I gotta tear all this out just to get to the screws and hold that light in so we're at least gonna wire up the harnesses to those whether or not I get it all accomplished or not we'll see but like if I tear into that, like, I got to get it done because it's 30 degrees today. Like, I can't leave both corners of the house uninsulated. We'll freeze in here. Like, it'll just, it'll just get too nasty cold. Like, you might as well just have the back door wide open all day and night. So like it's got to get wired in, and I got to I've got a can of spray foam ready, so that I can foam it back in, and cut down on that draft. Part of the reason why it's it's still in the air of whether or not I'm gonna do that part of it yet. But instead of going on too much about it. I at least got that part explained to you. Like, we're at 28 minutes. Okay. Don't have to rush too much. Uh, to all the subscribers, thank you very much. All our viewers, we love you. Thank you guys for comments, for like the views, for all the positive positivity and like positive comments. Like, you guys are awesome. Uh, to Linda and John, love you guys, man. You guys are just awesome. With, like, I'm getting to that point where it's like, I'm willing to take the walk down to Walmart just to be able to read your comments, you know? Let alone be able to put up a new video. Like, you guys are cool. And, brother, I know how you feel with, like, the weather. Like, it's brutal. It's brutal sometimes. Like, camper life and, like, boondocking. Like, this weather gets to you out here. It really does. Uh, and, yeah, we will definitely meet up in real life at some point here. In the somewhat near future, we'll be coming down to Townsend. Uh... We've got a trip we got to take down to Northeast Maryland as well. 
Um, but thank you to Tune215. Tune be chilling. They just reached a thousand subscribers. So that channel's now, I'm pretty sure, eligible to be monetized. But congratulations anyway on getting to the thousand mark. Um, Angie, Scrumpy McGrumpy, Gamer Jordan, B. Um, let's see. Extreme S10 official. When we come down to Townsend, I'm checking that truck out, man. I like, I'm digging that truck. Like, that same body style my old truck used to be. Like, I like everything you've done with it so far. Let's see, what else? To Yoli Bear, Danielle. Loco, just everybody. We love you guys, and we'll check you later. Later. Later.